All right, so I got the inside of the bearing journal all cleaned out, and uh, I got the new bearing started in place. And uh, of course, with these, like a, just like on the other ones, tapping out those races, you want to use a brass drift when you're hammering these things in. You don't want to damage, uh, even though it's hardened, it's hardened steel. You don't want to damage uh, any of the bearing. So always use a brass drift when you're uh, tapping these into place. Okay, so we got the bearing fully seated in there. And like I mentioned, these are lubricated by uh, the gear oil, but I always like to come in here and just put a little bit of grease in these uh, rollers just to kind of help things along, just prevent kind of a dry start. If you put a little bit in there, it's not going to hurt anything. That's plenty. So now we're ready to uh, drive in the seal. All right, so now we're ready to tap in the uh, axle seal. And this, you could just use your hammer, just do it lightly, and just kind of tap all the way around it. Eventually it'll get flush with the uh, edge of the axle tube, so you gotta come in here with a drift just to tap it in all the way. And that's it, it's fully seated. The red stuff around the edge is a sealant. Helps prevent uh, any leaks. And then, what we'll do is come in with our wheel bearing grease, just a tad, just a little bit. Come in here and lube up this uh, seal just a little bit to prevent kind of a dry start, if you want to call it that. All right, so now we're done with the wheel bearings and the wheel seals. We'll get started on the brakes. All right, so I hit the uh, uh, backing plate and all the uh, internal parts there with some brake parts cleaner and uh, a little... Uh, scrubby brush and uh, got all got the backing plate all cleaned up and as you can probably tell I've uh, removed my uh, parking brake cable it comes out right in this area and uh, this is it right here and uh, I went and bought new ones so because these things get kind of gummed up and they don't work as well they don't sometimes they don't release fully but they're really easy they just have these little prongs that kind of poke out like right there and there's one over here, and they uh, they spread out against the uh, inside here. So all you gotta do is just kind of pinch them in, and then they'll pull right out. They're no big deal. Uh, and then of course they're attached up here at the frame, and I'll show you how we uh, pull those out from up there. So the parking brake cables are only held to the frame here with these little clip things. All you do is you just get some pliers and kind of yank on them a little bit like that and they come right out. And then this piece actually pulls through the hole. It's kind of gummed up there as you can see. But, and then hopefully this will focus on that little, this thing right here is a little adapter you kind of got to pull it and separate them like that. So now there's two ends. You just let the other part dangle. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Then all you do is you just pull them out. It's that simple. Then you get your brake line out of there. That's all there is to it. All right, here's the new brake cable. This is the end this part attaches to the frame and then this end right here goes through uh, the brake backing plate. So we'll get these installed and they also come with uh, a new little retainer clip at the frame end. Actually they come with two. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, so we'll get these installed. Alright, so we'll come in here and we'll get a new brake cable installed. First thing is is to slide that through and I hope that fits through the little do whopper thing. 
pull on this and hopefully uh, get it to match up. I gotta try something here. Okay, so the new brake cable has kind of a ball on the end where the other one had kind of a uh, cylindrical type shape. So I, what I wanna know is is this ball gonna fit through this retainer? Yeah, it does, barely, but it does. So we'll come up here and we'll put our thing in place. Here we're gonna, hopefully I got enough muscle to uh, put all this together. I might have to make some adjustments. Yeah, definitely gonna have to make adjustments back there. Okay, so we'll just focus on getting this installed up in here right now. So that was a mucho pain in the butt, but as you can see, I got it. So now we're done at the frame end, and we'll come down to the uh, axle end. All right, and this end here is uh, pretty self-explanatory. This sh hopefully should not be as difficult. Just kind of cram it through the hole, and get those little tongs to spread out. All right, so this thing's got this little rubber washer thing on there, which I don't think is gonna work. It's taking up too much space in there. Come in here again. There we go. That's kind of loose, so we'll probably put that washer back on, but you get the picture. They just pop into place, pull it through these little uh, tab things kind of spring out. You can see one sprung out like that, so uh, it's kind of loose. Where is it? There it is. It's kind of loose in there, and I think that rubber thing's on there for a reason, so. Uh, but you get the picture on how to install it, so I'm going to pull this out, put the rubber washer back on, and then uh, try and get this pulled through again. Alright, so I got it reinstalled. I put that little rubber washer back on there, and uh, actually I really like these new brake lines. They have this, uh, or these brake cables, as I should say, parking brake, emergency brake cables. They're this uh, black kind of coating on here, instead of this, uh, this old kind of banded wire kind of look. I don't know, they just look a little sleeker, a little more modern. So, kind of a neat touch. I think they were only like 15 bucks a piece of the same part number for either side, either driver or passenger side. So, uh, and if you're doing brakes, you gotta take all this stuff off anyway. You might as well get in here and uh, put some new cables in there. Uh, you might find that uh, your parking brake wasn't releasing all the way because there was, because the inside of this cable the cable was all kind of gummed up inside the shroud. So when you release the parking brake, it wasn't releasing all the way. And the spring can get worn out here. So, uh, yeah, so if you're doing brakes, I recommend also doing uh, new brake cables. Uh, it's just kind of a due diligence sort of thing. Just get in there and replace what you can. So, uh, now we're ready to uh, put all the brakes back on.